Good. You guys good with the cameras? Yes, sir. Uh, well, I'm certainly disappointed, not just with the loss, but the fact that I don't think that we learned from yesterday's win uh, a lot of things that we talked about. I, I thought our chemistry in the first half wasn't where it needed to be. And, you know, as I said to the team last night after the, after the game, that's why we play these in-season tournaments, to try and figure ourselves out. Um, you know, so I'm disappointed that, that we didn't perform better. Um, uh, disappointed that we didn't share the ball a, a lot more freely in the first half. Um, you know, I thought that we made some mistakes defensively, and every mistake we made, they, they, they capitalized. That's a really good basketball team. They're tough minded, a bunch of kids, Oral Roberts, um, and, and they deserve to win. Yeah, and I can't account for it. I don't really know, but uh, you, you know whether or not it's f friends and family coming to see kids play, and, and they're going to show something. Um, but that, that's certainly not acceptable. But uh, I do feel like you know these young young kids feel like they're going to perform and do something special rather than playing for the group. And uh, you know we've talked about it a little bit, and you know I didn't see it coming. I, I thought that we we're going to come in here. Uh, and continue to you know, try and elevate our game, but we haven't done that. So, again, I think that's what these tournaments are for. I think that's why you, you challenge yourself with quality opponents, which I think we have in two games here, um, to get better and to learn about your team. And we've got to fix some things as a staff in terms of you know ro rotation and who to play and who's coming in for who because we have 11 or 12 guys that can get in the game, and, and uh, it's going to be hard to play 11 or 12. Well, yeah, I, I think, you know, it's interesting. Yohani means so much to our team, and he he didn't play, and I didn't play Kevin the first couple games, and now I'm trying to figure out how to get Kevin in the game and, and where to get Devontae's minutes coming from. Um, so, yeah, it, it's a little bit of a challenge, you know, because I, I don't know that there's been a lot of separation from the, from the perimeter guys. I think we have a very comfortable forward rotation, but on the perimeter, um, you know, I'm not as set on the rotation. So as, that's probably as much, you know, my, my issue as it is even our guys. We're going to have to come up with a rotation and guys are going to have to accept the role. But, um, you know, I, I think that's as, as, that played as much a part in today's game as anything. Did Rod look tired to you at the end of the Actually, I thought he looked better today in terms of, of energy. I, I just thought they guarded him well. And he had some balls that were right there, uh, a, couple of, a couple of drives. And then... You know the thing that we stress every day is stay on the stay on the ground uh, when you get near the rim. If you're not certain what's going to happen, he he left his feet a couple times and tried to throw cross court passes, and you know they intercepted those balls. What was your message to Shakir after this game? And well, I think the whole the whole team. I think our perimeter played very very poorly, um, and I think we're a better perimeter team than that. Uh, I think we we made errors, and we're going to have to fix them. And and you know rather than having a couple of days of practice. Um, you know we're we're gonna we're gonna come right back. We're gonna meet a little later tonight, and we're gonna we're gonna watch the film and uh, hopefully learn from this game, and then come back and bounce back and play better tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna we're gonna meet as a staff here when I'm done here, and we'll talk about it. Um, I, th I think Yohani certainly deserves a start. Um, you know, Shakir is you know is a talented guy, but I, I don't think that he played very well today and. Uh, you, you know, one of the reasons why I hadn't started until today, today is because, you know, I was comfortable with him, you know, learning how to earn. Um, I think it's important that guys understand that nothing's going to be handed to you. And, uh, you know, today he didn't play well. And, uh, you, know, you know, I think he'll bounce back. And when you play guys in the first half and you don't see them again in the second half, what's your message to coach away from the first Well, no, I think that's, that's basketball. I mean, everybody does that. Uh, you know, if you're going to play nine or ten guys, every coach that I've ever watched on TV or a study or talked to is you're playing a 20-minute game in the second half. Um, so you're trying to remain fresh and you, and you shorten your rotation uh, in second halves. That's, that's not unusual. Okay. Whether, whether by offensive design or great defense, Oral Roberts used every bit of the clock, uh, especially yeah. in the second half. Was it frustrating to watch to, to, to believe the watch them bleed the clock and then still hit those contested shots? Well, I, I think that was the thing. I mean, they made big shots. I'll give them a lot of credit. And we made some we made some mistakes in low post defense. Um, but the, the shots they got, they they knocked them out. They made shots, and uh, you know we were going to be ready for. That's a good. That's a really good basketball team. Uh, I recognize that that's a team that could go to the NCAA tournament and give their first round opponent uh, fits because of their style and the fact that they. Uh, they do go deep into the clock, and they're physical. 
Uh, they have great size and and they they play well together and that's a group that seems to, you know, it seems like they've been playing together for a while. But um, it's a smart team. Okay, thanks, guys.